All right, it's your boy Grand Dizzy here. I hope everyone is doing okay. It's Sunday, and if you guys remember, we have spoken about this many, 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 many times. How crazy it is to drive in Atlanta. And today, your boy decided to take you guys out on these highways. I want you guys to witness what goes on here. So now, you guys are gonna understand why I keep telling you that um, being on the back roads, we just got out of the traffic. You know, staying on the back roads are your best friends. But basically guys, the traffic in Atlanta sucks. It's Sunday afternoon and you would think, like, you know, the traffic is cleared and everything. No, not here. How you see the traffic right now? It's 24 seven, guys. So, as you guys know, I own the Sposter S 2023 Sposter S. And, uh, Most people use this bike in a certain way, like I do. I, I use the commute and, you know, just drive around the neighborhood, have fun. But is this bike really a city bike? We, we're gonna find out today. But uh, I guess I can give you guys my answer before we even find out. Um, this is the first time I'm taking this on the highway, so I don't know how uh, the sound is gonna is gonna be, but just pardon me if the sound is crappy. But yeah, I'm 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 uh I'm pretty sure you guys can see how fast I'm going. I can't even you know I don't want to look at it. But yeah, is this bike uh, a city bike? Today we're gonna find out. So welcome to the city of Atlanta, and we're gonna be in our midtown very shortly. But um, I, I just got stuck in traffic for like almost one hour. And I wanted to show you guys, <laughs> I wanted to start a video in Midtown. But um, I said, man, you know what? Let me just start a video here. But it looks like anytime I wanna catch some action, it just, I, 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 I'm, not, I'm not lucky, man. Look at the South Bond. This is South Bond. And this probably backed up all the way down to I don't know, only God knows. And this is every day, all day, guys. And like I said, my people here, most of them cannot drive. So if it's not an accident, it's a construction. And majority, too, of the traffic is coming from um, commercial vehicles, like trucks. You know, like 90% of them are not even from Georgia, so they passing through, they're delivering and all that kind of stuff. Look at the traffic, man. This is even nothing. I wanted to, I guess pass, I've been in there for like an hour, but too bad, too bad. I should have uh, started recording from the house, but I say, you know, I only have one battery, so I say one battery on each um, camera. So, I mean, the battery lives are very good, but I don't know what I'm gonna be, you know, running into. So I just wanted to see if there's any way I can preserve the battery. That was the only reason why I didn't uh, record. But man, look at the southbound. And that's exactly how it looked like on the other side. And when I'm going back home, I'm gonna be falling into that. So you know what I'm gonna have to be doing? It leaves me with no option but to lane split. Um, I do lane split, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. I do lane split. But I only do lane split like maybe 15 miles per hour. I don't like, no, I'm always uh, aware of my surroundings, you know, looking out for any kind of surprises, you know, I know all of that. So I do it like this. When I'm on my bike, I'm not gonna sit in this traffic. No way. I would definitely lane split. I just passed a cop over there. Like catch me if you can, <laughs> because technically, it's illegal to lane split in Georgia. <laughs> Excuse me. Technically, it's illegal to lane split in Georgia. There's the um, 
the football stadium. I forgot the name. Uh, um, what's the name? Um, State Farm Arena, right down there. But you guys, this is the city of Atlanta, and um, today we're gonna put this bike on its pace, whether or not it's a it's a truly a city bike. Is it a really a a bar hopper like most people think it is, like a barber? I'll say no, especially not this bike, guys. Especially not this bike. Because this bike has way too many torque. It has way too many power. And um, if you are stoplight, traffic light, stop and go, it just, it's not as fun. Personally, to me, it's not as fun as it is like, you know, riding here on an open road because you 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 have to um be very very gentle on the uh, on the throttle because it just want to get up and go and honestly speaking I, I don't think this is um this is a city bike but we're gonna find out and the only place we can do that is in the city of atlanta yes sir welcome to the city of atlanta um but I'll say no, the bike is not a city bike. Um, no way, no way. I rode a couple times in the city, way before I started vlogging, and uh, I, I really didn't have fun. And on top of that, if you guys own this bike, you know how the suspension is. You know, it's a sporty, it's, it's, it's a sports bike, man. It's a sports cruiser. So the suspension is extremely tight, man. It's, it's very stiff. I mean, you can set it, and I've set adjusted to my weight and uh, my height and everything. But still, um, no. And you guys know, the inner city, we, we don't have a very good roads. You know, there are there are in a, a very good roadways in a, in the inner city. So, um, yeah, it's a lot of bumpy you know um bumpy rides and all that kind of stuff again i can only speak for this bike you know i uh my uh my um mini bike that i have in the house really haven't you know bring it out here this far i mean it can go up to like 70 miles i could if i want to but i haven't um and it has a very good suspension because you can use it as off-road and on-road you know it's one of those uh, 100 grams um, clones and I'll ride it one of these days so you guys can you know have a have a feel for it but like I said I don't think this bike is a city bike if you ask me all day any day I don't think it's a city bike by any means it depends on how you know you feel like riding it and oh uh, I mean unless uh, I can say it, it could be subjective but personally to me if I live in the city, um, I would not, <laughs> nah. Because the few times that I rode in the city, I really did not enjoy my ride. And again, we have bad drivers, you know, um, all around you and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's kind of tough to maneuver. Um, and then on top of that, you gotta deal with the, um, you got to deal with the um, the road, you know. It's very bumpy and um, the potholes and all that kind of stuff, you know. Um, unfortunately, I really don't know the city very well. Yeah, um, I don't know the city very well. So what I'm going to do is um, I'm just going to ride through wherever it's going to take me. Um, I have my phone here. If I get lost, I'll just uh, grab my phone, you know. But um. I don't think you can ever get lost in the city. Um, do you really believe that uh, the Sposter S is really a city bike? Personally, I would say no, it's not. It is not a city bike, but um, I guess I can go. It's a red light. Yep. Yeah, I guess I can go. <laughs> but yeah, now we're in the city. I'm just gonna ride around uh, so we all can have a feel for. But, you know, it's a lot of bumpy, like look at that. Like all these, you know, you can feel it. Every little um, bump 
in the road, you can practically feel it, you know? Um, and I'm gonna try to find some rough spot, you know? You know, look at this one coming here. Like every little one of these bumps, man. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear in my voice. Um, I don't know if I readjust the suspension, but really guys, I, I would not call this as a city bike, period. You know, it's very, very bumpy, um, aggressive, and it just wanna go. This bike just wanna go. Um, <laughs> it just wanna go. So you've got to be very, very, very gentle on the throttle. Uh, otherwise, you, you're gonna get yourself into a whole lot of trouble. Yeah, and you don't want you don't want to do that, man. You don't want to do that. Yeah, it, it can get you into trouble, man. Really, really, really fast. Oh, that's the Georgia Aquarium. I've heard about it, you know, but I've never been there before. Um, and they say they have some nice stuff over there in there. It's a very cool place to visit. Um, I guess I know where I am now. Well, not where is that now. So next time somebody asks me, hey, you know where Georgia Aquarium is? I'm going to be the first one to, you know, to answer. But yep, there it is down there. So um, as you guys may hear in my sound, man, in my voice, yeah, every little bump on this road, you guys, you're going to hear it. You're going to feel it. Yep. I promise you, man, you're going to hear it. You're gonna feel it. So, if you ask me, I haven't ridden other bikes like uh, the, uh, the the Scout and Indian Scout and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I, I know um, they say they have a pretty good um, suspensions, um, but I don't know. But if you really want to buy this bike solely for city riding, um, I'll, I'll say just you know look somewhere else. It, um, I just like the look of this bike. Period. I like the look, and this is my first Harley. I, I just love the way it looked like, you know. Um, I didn't buy it for um, any kind of city riding, but if that's what I have to buy it for or whatever, then I will just own it, but ride it outside the city. It's much, much better, more fun to ride it outside the city, like where I do all my vloggings, you know, outside the city. I think uh, that is much, much fun than, you know, doing it in, in here, in the city here. So I'm trying to see if I can find some rough spot so you guys can see, but I'm pretty sure you guys have already, you know, heard me whenever I come to like a, approaching a traffic light. Yeah, it's, it, it's bad, man. You can feel every little bump on the road. And that, if, if that doesn't bother you, the throttle here, man, you've got to be extremely gentle uh, to roll it. Because if you don't, man, this bike is going to throw you off, man. Like I told you, I always ride this bike in the street mode. The sports mode is way aggressive, way too power, man. And um, you can imagine if I have this in the sports mode, it's just, you're just asking for trouble, period. So personally, if this is what you want to use it for, you want to ride it in the city, you just got to be extremely careful. Just be very, very gentle on the throttle. And, um, come on. You got to be extremely, you know, gentle with the throttle like it's never there. Look at it. Every little bump, I'm feeling it. You know, I'm just gonna ride around. I don't even know. They have a skyline somewhere around here. I forgot exactly where it's at. So hopefully uh, we will run into that. Um, yeah, I don't get to come to the city very often. My job is on the other side. My office is on the other side. So like Midtown here, I don't get to come here very often. So, but it's such a beautiful place. They have a lot of restaurants here. And one thing that you can't go wrong here is the food. Man, they got some good food here. You know, Southern Hospitality? Yes, sir. Yep, they got some really, really good food here. The only thing I don't like about here is um, they are driving, man. They can't drive. Majority of people can't drive here. And then on top of that, the traffic sucks, man. 
Uh, man, I wish I had my camera on while I was while, while I was stuck in the traffic. I heard they have some kind of underground um, shopping thing here, shopping mall or something. I forgot the name. If anybody knows it, you know, if you live around here, just leave a comment down below. It's just right here. They have some kind of underground mall or something like that here. Um, I've never been there. Like I said, I don't spend a whole lot of time here in the city. I just drive through, you know, every once in a while. So, but uh, yeah, I forgot the name. They have a name for this place, but oh, there it is. The entrance is right over there. So yeah, they do have some kind of underground uh, mall or something like that. And uh, they say it's pretty cool, pretty neat. So um, yeah, but um, personally, I don't think uh, this uh, Sposta S is it's a, it's a city bike, man. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. If the, the street were very smooth, like sandpaper, I'll say maybe yes. But as bad as these street, these roads uh, can get sometimes, you know, these, you can tell these are like new ones, but some of the old ones, you know, like what I'm about to, you know, you can hear me now, look at that. All these, you can hear it, you know? Look at that. Yep, you can feel and hear every single one of these potholes. So it doesn't make it like a joy ride, man. You, you know, you can ride through, but it, it doesn't make it a joy ride. So, yeah, personally, I, I would say no. Yeah, it's really not a city bike. But um, if that's what um, you want to do for city ride, then, you know, hey, I guess you can make it happen. You can make it whatever, you know. But to me, no. I'm lucky I live outside the city. Not too far away, though. Yeah, I don't live too far away from the city. Um, uh, but, um, yeah, I don't live too far away from the city. Um, about 15 minutes away there's some man here and this little thing <laughs> oh yeah it's a beautiful day I'm not gonna lie about that man it's a beautiful day I did not go to church today because of something some reason you know Ooh, a guy passed me what am I doing Grant come on go get him <laughs> um, yeah those are very fun I believe those even feel better than the bike here. And they have a lot of scooters. You see those scooters around here? They have a lot of those. One day, what I'm gonna do is, um, I'm gonna just come here, rent me one of the scooter and just rip around like pretty much all day. <laughs> um, yeah, they, yeah, look at one here. They have it all over the place, man. But those are extremely expensive. I heard they, 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 they charge, um, what, what is it, how much? The last time that I asked, they say um, um, 45 cent per mile or something like that. Can you imagine? 45 cent, I think it's 45 cent or something like that per mile. I'm like, oh, hell no. I'd rather buy my own and just bring it, uh, bring it in the city and just rip it around. No way. 45 cents per mile. Can you imagine? So by the time you ride like, you know, 20, 30 minutes, yeah, it can add up pretty quick. I think so. that's what somebody told me. And I'm not, no, 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 no. It's way too much expensive, man. I'd rather buy my own. That's that's the reason why most of the stuff I own and people think, oh, Grant, you got money. And oh, no, I'm smart, man. Because if something that you like doing, if you like to come to the city and then ride around and uh, do all this kind of stuff, just do the math. By four months, five months, by the time you add everything to it, you, you own one already. You know what I mean? You're gonna own one already. So, yeah, sometimes I just go ahead, like um, I remember when I was, um, when I was about to make a trip to Africa to shoot uh, the film, my last movie that I made, I'll see if I can leave the comments, uh, the link somewhere. So you guys, if you haven't seen it, you know, you can go out and watch it, the trailer. But I remember um, I went out and I uh, asked 
for how much it's gonna cost me to rent a, a red a red uh, camera so they gave me the price for the week I believe because I was gonna rent it for like three four months so they gave me the prices and I believe because I was renting it for a very long period of time um, they gave it to me for I believe eight hundred and fifty dollars per week so I went home and I sat down and I started doing some math putting some numbers together and I'm like eight hundred dollars a week um, eight fifty a week and they were selling that camera for I think uh, I don't know 23 I forgot how much they were selling it for that's the whole package though so I came home and I started doing the math and I'm like oh heck no <laughs> We are not gonna do this, man. So, I bought my own camera. Yep, I bought it. I went home. I was not worried that I have to hurry up and come back, because I actually overstayed. I thought I was gonna be there for three months. I ended up staying for close to four months. And guess what? They, they were still gonna charge me and I was, I was still gonna pay. So by the time I come back, I had a bought a camera and um you know I own it like now you know I don't <laughs> I don't even know how to say it man but the point that I'm trying to make is I did the math and to me I think it would benefit me to just buy it but some of my friends think oh my god he's got money I said no I'm just smart man gotta be smart <laughs> gotta be smart so Come on. Oh, there you go. Yeah, so I just um, act smart, bought it. Again, I was there for like close to four months. So I came back and uh, I still own it, man. It's still sitting there. I have a very low hours on there because I haven't worked lately. So, yeah. Sometimes, you know, you've got to, you know, you've got to act like that. You, you just do the math, you know, so one of these scooters, the good ones can run you maybe $1,500. So if you someone that comes in the city a lot, that you ride a lot, you know, investing in one is a great idea. Much, much better than you just um, renting it here. Because if you're paying like, um, I don't know, um, if you're paying like um, the 40, 45 cent per mile, you can imagine, you do the math. I don't know how many hours you're gonna run. Uh, so what people do is, um, if they wanna walk from one end of the city to the other, instead of taking the cab, they just grab one, and then when they're done, they leave it there. Because at the end of the night, or wherever you leave it, somebody's job is to go around and collect them so it doesn't matter where you leave it you can leave some in the corner here whatever you can steal it because they have a low jack and everything on there like you see there's one sitting here so like if i want to walk over there i just hop on it and i just keep it going there's one here you know um so i guess that makes sense if, if that's how you want to run it and then if you want to do it for fun, I, I, I personally, if I if I uh, if I if I'm in the city here and uh, that's you know I, I like to ride and you know you know um, just rip around like more than three or four times a week, oh, I'll definitely invest in one because you give yourself at least at least a good six months. You put the numbers together, you own one. You can easily own one of those, you know. So. Yeah, that's just my opinion, but I mean, you do you, you know, what works for me may not work for you. So um, just, you know, do as you please. Um, man, I wish I know where I'm going, but I really don't, you know, I, I just don't know where I'm going, man. But that is how it is to ride in the city here. Um, yeah, the bombs and, um, I mean, my seat is very comfortable. You know, this is a street bike. 
you know but these bumps and everything guys you, you, you're gonna feel everything and then on top of that you gotta work your throttle man you gotta be easy on it like gentle man but if you try to just take it off oh yeah you're gonna get you in trouble man really 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 quick and I don't think you you, you you want that man I don't think you want that so yeah let's just ride around and I'm um, trying to find my exit out of here and um, just head on home I got more stuff going on today so definitely I can be here by myself having the fun I got to go see the family and then make sure they're doing good and all that kind of little ones <laughs> oh man oh man my kids in the neighborhood they know that I have the loud horn so or the air horn so anytime they see me they go like this just like the trucks <laughs> and I'll give them a little tap like Whoa! You know, yeah, I don't like using it because um, it scares people. Uh, to the, look at this guy. Clearly took a red light. You see that? Thank you, guys. I want you guys to see. Like, he literally took a red light. You guys see that? Caught on camera. He took a red light. So you can imagine if I would have won. So technically... Green light in Georgia, it's not even green light, man. <laughs> I told you guys, these fools, some of them, majority of them cannot drive. He literally took a red light, like red light. Red light. So if I would have just, you know, without not looking, paying attention, scanning ahead of time and all that. One day I went to Home Depot and the same thing happened. This is how I got into an accident back home. And that thing took my life, man. Only God brought me back, man. Only God, I was just saved by grace. He T-boned me and uh, I was gone, man. I was, I was gone. I was just saved by grace, man. I went to Home Depot and um, I get out, sitting at a traffic light. And as I'm sitting, I'm scanning. Always can. I, I, it doesn't matter if I'm on a bike or actually. Let me go straight. It doesn't matter if I'm on a bike or I'm on um. I'm in my car. I do the same thing. I use the same safety techniques and um. Yeah. So when it turned green green light, I was the first car, and I turned my uh, my head to my right, and I see this SUV. He was speeding. I say, is this fool gonna stop? Is this fool gonna stop? Nope, 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 nope. He did not stop. Took a red light, uh, took a red light. It was clearly red light. Took it. So you can imagine if I would have went, what would have happened? And it's sad, you know, it's sad. Somebody is not paying attention. They don't care about you. They don't care about themselves. That's number one. And they don't clearly don't care about you. You know, he took that light, so I kind of sped up. I wanted to, like, talk to him, like, yo, wh why are you rushing? Before we get to the, sec uh, the next light, he took another red light. I said, oh, okay. Let me go through here. I said, that's all he's going to do, so it doesn't really matter. There's no point of talking to a fool like that, you know. But you see that a lot, all the time, man. You know, if you hear me ranting about this place when it comes to traffic and driving, this is a perfect example. This is a perfect example. You guys can imagine if I would have went, I have no protection, man. I have no airbags. I have, I have, I have no seat belts. He's gonna tick me off. I, I don't know what, what would have happened to me, man. I have no clue what would have happened to me. I hope you guys can hear this in my voice. You know? I have no clue what would have happened to me. But thank God I always look. So uh, I guess green light is not even your, you know, green light. Green light is still like yellow or, you know, proceed with caution. <laughs> Just crazy, man. Crazy, crazy. But I guess this is gonna be it for now. I'm gonna ride around here and then try to see if I can uh, find my exit and get the hell out of here before somebody run into me. 
Um, oh, hold on. I think if I go straight, yeah, if I go straight, I can get on the highway. Let's do that. Let's do that real quick. Yeah, let's do that. Yep, let's do that. I think if I go straight, I may be able to cut. Oh, yeah, I see the highways over there. Um, so, unfortunately, you know, I don't know my way around very well here. I would have taken you guys to a very cool spot. I know they have some cool spot here, but uh, I just saw the uh, aquarium. That, that's about it. You know, but uh, we have Jimmy Carter, you know, library. We have, it is a lot of stuff in here in the city here that I, I've never even heard of. Look at some hooligan right there. <laughs> um, yeah, but unfortunately, give your boy some time. When I get used to this place, really, really used to this place, yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on a ride. I'm gonna show you around. Um, I think I'm very good in the suburbs because I'm not a city guy, man. I love the country. I'm a, I'm a country boy. I love the country life. You know, I am no close to a, you know, a city life. So, um, yeah. So let's get out of here. And then uh, head on home, um, just enjoy the ride because I have to stay vigilant, yep, in these uh, crazy traffic. Now that I'm going to be dealing with some, you know, some kn knuckleheads, I have to stay sharp. Yep, welcome to the traffic. See how the traffic is? Yep, we started back up already, so yeah. This every day. All day, every day, man. Like I said, my job is on the south side. And when I get off of work, I have to drive through the city to get home. And this is something that I see every single day. Unfortunately, I know the back roads to, you know, to go to work, but it adds at least 15 extra miles on top of already, you know, far commute, you know, so my best option is to just shut up and stay on the highway. So I'm, I'm in this traffic pretty much every day. Look at that. Look at it. Every day, that's how it is, man. Every day, that's how it is. But one thing I can tell you guys, it feels so good to ride in this weather, man. It feels so good to ride in this weather, just chilling, cruising, minding your own business. It feels so good, man. But one way or the other, I'm gonna have to lay split here to get me out. So just watch it. Don't do this at home. Don't try it. If you wanna try it, try it at your own risk. Um, again, every state have their own laws. And I know the laws in Georgia, uh, I know, you know, not all of them, but majority of them, and definitely lane split here, it's illegal. So, um, yeah, but I don't like to sit. I don't like to wait. So I'd rather do like, uh, you know, 15, 20 miles, you know, and then just keep it moving. Basically, that's exactly what it is. So we're going to be splitting here, guys. Y'all ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And whenever you're splitting, watch out for these reflectors on the road, man. They can throw you off. They can throw you off, and uh, when you lose balance, it's, it can be devastated. So just be very careful whenever you're splitting, man. Uh, if you can avoid those, that'll be great. But if you can, just be aware that you're riding on those. Those little reflectors on the road, yes, just be aware that you're riding on those. And uh, stay safe, you know. I will not do like 40, 50 miles in this, uh, you know, splitting. No, I will never do something like this because it's not safe, you know. It's not safe. But um, anything 20, 15, oh, yeah, I'll do it and get out. Uh, whenever I'm in a car, then I'm out of luck. I just have to shut up and uh, sit in the traffic just like any other driver. And sorry for those who have a uh, trike, you know, two, uh, three wheels. Yeah, unfortunately, you guys cannot do what we're doing. 
so um this is only for two wheels guys so just be careful man i know california it's legal you can do it um because i've done it before uh what else few states few states uh, i did it in Delaware a couple times jersey uh pennsylvania dc the entire northeast you know i uh, i've did it all all of that before but um here i don't know why it's illegal but i can understand they got some crazy drivers here so yeah the laws are meant for a reason so i can only understand why they made it illegal here but sometimes you got to do what you got to do to get out as long as you're safe you are aware of what you're doing just you know that's it look there's a hazard here I'm gonna go around it just keep your eyes moving man scan ahead of time you know be seen now that I'm riding here definitely I mean his uh, blind spot is the good spot so definitely somebody can see me and somebody wanna you know swerve in my way all I gotta do so now that it start picking up I'll just go back in the uh, the, um, the actual road and then keep riding whenever i back up i'll swing through and then just keep it moving you know but i would not just go do like 50 miles and uh no no you would never never see me doing something like that no way no way you got to be very very responsible on these machines man so like i said this traffic 24 7. today is sunday if you come back to me, if I come back tomorrow, it's even worse. This is Sunday, so we don't have a whole lot of people on the road. Majority of people are now working, so they're home, watching football, spending time with family and whatnot. So, um, yeah, but if it wasn't because, to, you know, it's a weekday, it's even worse than this. It's worse than this on the weekdays, man. And I'm telling you, man, it's Monday through Friday. That's it. Every day, all day, man. So if, if this is bad, your best bet, just hop on 285, and it's still going to be the same. It doesn't matter where you drive. So your best bet is your back roads, man. That's why I keep saying, make the, uh, the back roads your best friends, because they're going to get you in and out. But if you want to rely on these highways, man, you ain't going to go nowhere. You can imagine if I was driving my car, I'll be all the way down there, you know? So, um, yeah, it's a very, very lengthy traffic, man. Let's go ahead and split. And watch out for this fool. They have their light on. I don't know the intention, so I'm very aware, you know? Just, just be safe. You know, I don't think I saw a cop and I know he saw me. He was looking at me. There's no way he can like Like catch me. There, there's no way But I'm pretty sure he's probably gonna say get out of there get out of it, you know, but um, I'm pretty sure he'll understand like yeah, the traffic is bad if I was on the bike I'm probably gonna be doing the same thing to myself. So <laughs> Boy oh boy so yeah we're moving yeah we're moving little by little you know whenever it's moving i just ride like a a regular rider and then when it back up i'll just split and keep it going until i get home but yeah man this is where they have uh, this exit will take you to tyler perry's uh movie studios yeah, if you take uh, this exit going to East Point, it will take you down there. It's a huge place, man. I've been there. Uh, I was trying to see if I can get some project over there, but um, they're talking about the union and all that kind of stuff, and I'm not a very big fan when it comes to union, so maybe I need to learn. I don't know. Um, yeah, but if you take that exit, it's going to take you right over there. It's a huge place, man. I... I don't know how he did it, but God bless him. <laughs> but if you're watching me, Tyler, hit me up, man. Um, 
um, just one day, one day at a time, guys. If God is gonna bless you, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter how long it's gonna take. It's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. Just stay focused. This camera is not straight. It's bent to the, uh, to the right a little bit. I told you guys I have an OCD. Everything needs to be perfect with me. Looks like we're moving, so 